It's a lot easier to start this thing with a uh, electric starter than to worry about full starting. to uh, head towards Adamsville. I need to get this microphone so that it sits in here nice and tight because it does get a little noisy. So today, today David's uh, AWOL. He's not here. That thing he's doing. And so uh, I'm out here on my own. We're about 31 miles an hour, and we're about uh, 292 feet in the air. I've been asked to both give a review of what the Monster compared to the Monster uh, in my uh, eyes. You know, I flew the Monster for about seven years. For many of the hours that I flew, I enjoyed it. There was many issues I had. Uh, they all have issues. But... Uh, I think I'll wait a while to do a complete review or a better review, but one of the uh, other questions was, well, how easy was it to change over from a monster to a monster on a fresh breeze frame? Well, it was actually fairly easy. Uh, I had a, a plate, a mounting plate that was made specifically for the monster. It connected to the monster, and once you got the uh, plate connected, uh, basically all you had to do was mount the monster to it. Uh, Fuel-wise, uh, it would not allow for the large fuel tank, uh, so I had to go back to my uh, small fuel tank, which wasn't you know, so far hasn't been an issue. I've uh, I flew the other day for an hour and a half and still had uh, quite a bit of fuel left. So, you know, I normally fly for about an hour and uh, go for another flight. Uh, but if you're going to be uh, flying for uh, a couple hours, you may uh, want to consider mounting another fuel tank down on the bottom. So you could uh, mount a fuel tank down on the bottom, and uh, since I haven't done that, I don't have any specs or suggestions on what fuel tank to get, but uh, if you're going to do that, uh, you know, you could, you could do that for sure. The only real, uh, not really an issue, but uh, one thing that was a little uh, hard to work around was uh, mounting the a full start. Now I basically put the full start right where the uh, monster full start went, and uh, there's a big flat pulley which wasn't used. And basically, I just went through the eye bolt and uh, pulled from there. However, the, the rope used to start it plays up against the mounting plate. So uh, I could see you use, use that for a long time. You could spray your uh, your pull starter rope. So you want to keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm, I have some work around in mind. I put another eye right on the plate to uh, smooth around or, or something like a tube, uh, a, a bent tube or a direction tube that orients. The, uh, you put the string through the tube and then you uh, basically pull supposedly through the tube. And I'm looking at a pulley. But for me, it's not that big of a deal because I've got an electric starter, so I don't use the pull starter. But if ever I had to, I, you know, I have it here and I can use it. Now, that'd be the biggest thing. But, you know, I pretty much had to think together uh, within a day or two 
uh, I'm also kind of a procrastinator and kind of slow at putting things together. And I was no hurry because the weather wasn't all that good, so I wasn't going to fly. So uh, it was no big hurry and got it together, and so I've been out flying a few times. And the only other thing I'm dealing with is the louder. Uh, the poster is louder, so it makes for, you know, recording right now, you probably can tell that, uh, you know, you can hear in the background, and I just need to work that out. Uh, I've been trying some different uh, things, like uh, the software I use for editing has some noise cancellation, uh, which I can use, but uh, then it kind of makes me sound more robotic. So just uh, figure something out, maybe a, a, a bigger bubble around my uh, uh, around the microphone to keep really no wind noise. And it, you know, uh, I'm using a different headphone set uh, to keep the noise down. But if I push the uh, microphone right up to my lips, you probably can hear this a little better. I will find out when I edit this. So, uh, anyway, back in the sky, got a triple prop. Could have gone with a single prop, but the triple prop had a little bit more thrust to it. So I wanted to try that. But I also understand that the single prop, it, it's a little quieter, but less thrust. We're just going to have to find out. And as far as uh, thrust and takeoff, uh, they're both fairly even. I'm not sure if which one is more, uh, more thrust. No, it's uh, I've had different results on different you know if I get real thick grass it's a little challenging to watching this uh, thick of soybeans out here because I'm loading the soybeans onto the big, onto the dump truck about 81 degrees today, so it's, uh, the temperature is definitely right, but I've still got a jacket on, I'm going to fly over here to the horse ranch, I try not to get too close to them because I know they've got horses and could be riders out here and I don't want to stir up the horses and so forth, but if you're ever, ever out in this area, uh, it's a real cool uh, horse ranch out here. And they've got a place to stay and a swimming pool and jacuzzi, hot tub, whatever they call it. It's like they're unloading a bunch of hay out there. Horses look like they're doing fine. We're about four miles away from the original LZ. As you can see, the leaves are really turn, turning. It's starting to get really pretty out here. It's also deer season or bow season. So I don't want to get too too close to some of these places where they're out there hunting. A lot of really good deer deer hunting out here. I mean, you can imagine all the corn and all the soybeans. You've got all the trees. Doing about 25 miles an hour, about 330 feet. Uh, we were going with the wind initially and really uh, was heading out pretty fast here. Not doing too bad at 25. It's pretty smooth out here tonight. It's 168 uh, feet in the air, 23 miles an hour. It's a real old stone house over here. It's really cool. But it's still here. They haven't knocked it down. It's still there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Doing about uh, 25 miles an hour, about 222 feet. We're about uh, almost a mile from the LZ. I actually can see my truck. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and power up and uh, gain some altitude, get over some of these trees. About 645. 
to the evening.